Seriously? Hey you guys and welcome to this product review with me, 6 Plus Stevo. Now in this one I'm going to be talking about the Mega Paint Set from the Army Painter. Um, before I get on with the review though, I want to tell you a little bit about my backstory with painting and whatnot. Um, so I have only recently got back into hobby about just over a year ago, just around about the launch of 8th edition. Um, it was 8th edition that drew me back into the hobby that I'd sort of uh, left alone since the tail end of 5th edition. Um, it was, yeah, just around about the launch of 6th edition was when I sort of uh, fell out of the hobby. Um, I had a Necron army fully painted. Um, I was I painted uh, portions of my Chaos army at the time, uh, my Tyranid army, and I was just getting into Orcs. Um, so I did a lot of painting back then, um, but I sold everything off, um, as a lot of my regular and long-time subscribers will already know all this. Um, so yeah, I started from scratch again completely, so... Um, I got back into orcs, um, started building up my orc horde, and uh, wanted to get painting again. Um, so, back when I used to paint previously, um, I always used Games Workshop products. Um, always used all their paints, their sprays, everything. I was very happy with them. Um, I knew where I was with them. Um, I used to read a lot of White Dwarf and painting guides etc um, and they would always sort of be very specific in listing how you know you achieve certain results and they would list you know the specific colors the specific inks and shades and everything that they used to do it so um, for me it was very easy to stick with what I knew um, I could you know see exactly what colors were used and um, work with them and yeah for the, I had no complaints um, well that's not true actually I I did have complaints. Um, I had things like paints drying up on me um, because of the pots that they insist on using. Um, that was always fun, cracking open a paint to do some painting sessions and finding that it has turned to sort of a chalk or a gunky, weird residue that you can just no longer work with. Um, so that wasn't fun. Um, the price of them was expensive. Um, now, I knew back then that there were competitors on the market and there were other companies that produced paints and model paints and stuff. But I was very hesitant to get into them because, like I said, I was, I, I'd was never tried anything else. And I was hesitant to move away from what I knew and trusted as a product. Um, so I just stuck with them. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're back to present day and I'm back into the hobby with my um, Orc Horde desperately needing to get some paint on it and so I start thinking about options of what paints I'm going to get. Um, very quickly I kind of decided that GW was a no-go in terms of paint. Um, I am on a budget, um, I don't have a lot of disposable income um, and I need to be able to do this hobby as economically as possible. Um, I have a lot of other things to pay for. <clears throat> And also, Games Workshop paints, since I was last in the hobby, um, had changed quite dramatically. Um, all the names of the colours had changed. They'd changed the sort of formulation of the paints themselves. Um, and I mean, I think I think they'd stepped their game up with the paints, if anything. You know, they, they've improved them and they'd done a whole sort of rebranding and changing of the formula. And now it's sort of divided into different sections of layering paints and um, base coating paints and highlighting paints and all this different sort of stuff um, and they got a lot of sort of effects paints and things as well um, which don't get me wrong it all looks very good um, but I didn't want to learn all sort of new techniques and learn all the new paints again and I don't know it sort of put me off in a way um, I would kind of hope to get back into hobby and just sort of carry on where I left off and get the old paints that I knew and loved so well um, but that wasn't the case so yeah I decided to go down the route of uh, buying paints from a different company and trying something different um, they'd seen reviews from lots of different um, companies out there and products that are on the market uh, in particular I saw on like Beasts of War where they were reviewing different paint sets and stuff um, and I saw this one 
and I really, really, really like the look of it. Um, this set is um, fantastic um, for loads of different reasons. I mean, um, as you can see on the box here, um, one advantage these paints have is the 100% colour match. Um, and when I first saw that, next to this ultramarine blue paint I kind of thought that, that was uh, oh, 100 percent that will match sort of GW's ultramarine um, blue um, but that's not the case and that's not what it does um, it is a hundred percent match with their spray cans um, back in the day I remember painting my monolith um, and for the large areas and stuff I was doing a lot of dry brushing with bolt gun metal and stuff back in the day on my, on my necrons themselves and uh, I wanted to get that same uh, paint that same color on my monolith um, but I didn't want to paint all that because in large surface areas so I bought the bolt gun metal spray um, it came out it looked good it looked great as did the paint of the bolt gun metal but they didn't look the same um, not exactly you could definitely tell the difference um, so that was that always sort of bugs me a little bit um, with this this is great I mean you can base coat and spray your models in that ultra in blue then later on if you need to touch them up or correct something or go over something again use the little bit of paint and it will match in 100% and they guarantee that and that is um, fantastic and they sell quite a lot of the sprays not all these colors but all the colors you'll see like some of them do have this 100% um, match logo and uh, it's quite a lot of them. I'd say at least a third, if not almost half, of the paints in this set have that colour match logo. So they've got a lot of sprays out there for these colours. Um, the other thing that drew me to this set was the um, price. Um, you get 50, 50 paints in here. Well, 50, um, a mixture of paints and inks, but 50 bottles of paint. Um, and I got this set for approximately £75 um, from an online seller. Um, so it's discounted. I think it's usually around the um, £100 mark, at sort of regular retail price. Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, but there's plenty of sellers online uh, where you can get this set for around the £75 to £80 mark. So £75, um, that's £1.50 a paint. Um, that is really, really, really good value um, when you compare it to the competition, especially Games Workshop. Um, also, the other thing that drew me in was these paints are in uh, dropper bottles. Um, now, the dropper bottles are so, so superior um, to Games Workshop paints, um, the pots they come in, um, because these will not dry out. Um, that was such a pain in the ass back in the day. Um, paint's drying out. Um, but anyway, uh, let's have a look inside, shall we? So, as you can see, now this isn't an unboxing. Um, this isn't a new set. I haven't been given this set for review. Um, this isn't brand new, you know, out of its cellophane. I've had this set for at least six months now. Um, I've only just really started... Um, using it properly i'm currently painting my killer cans uh, once they're finished they'll be appearing on the channel properly um but everything that came in the set is still here so i'll show you what is in um you get this handy guide um which i'll go into in a little while and then you get your 50 paints you also get your brush um one brush comes in this set um wait for it to focus come on focus damn you there we go, and it's upside down. But it is the uh, regiment brush. It's just a bog standard sort of size brush. Um, fuck it. There we go. Take the lid off. And I've been using this brush for quite a while, and as you can see, it's still in moderately good condition. It's had some fairly heavy use recently. Um, now I've heard people saying that these brushes—they don't think much of these brushes and don't like them. Personally. Um, Compared to, again, Games Workshop brushes, which I know aren't, are also not sort of thought of in the highest regard with sort of especially um, experienced and professional painters, let's say. Um, but I would say this is, <coughs> <coughs> do excuse me, um, I would say this is on par with those um, for your sort of um, 
yeah, just your everyday. It, it's it's fine. It it's fine. I do like the um, triangular handles on them. I find them very comfortable to hold, actually, especially for sort of long sessions of painting and stuff. I do. I am personally um, quite impressed with these brushes. Um, I don't think they will last a huge amount of time, but then again, that, I mean, a lot of that comes down to how you take care of your brushes and if you look after them well. Um, I have bought another set of these um, that's got different ones in it. Um, and, I've, you know, one of them has started fraying a little bit, but like I said, I've been doing a lot of sort of highlighting and dry brushing, you know, just heavy use. Um, so, you know, that, that happens with every brush I've tried. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm quite happy with them. Now, the paints in here. Now, the, the one downside with dropper bottles, and one thing I've heard and seen a lot of, is that essentially these army painter paints can be um, notorious for being pigs to mix. And that is true. That is one downside of these. Um, if you squirt them out sometimes, you can shake them up a little bit and then squirt them out and you'll see sort of this clear fluid come out and you know the pigment sort of comes out afterwards all gunky and it, it just doesn't look quite right and the color hasn't mixed properly um you do need to give these some serious 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 shaking trust me you really need to shake these bad boys up um but you do that and the paint will come out fine and it will look perfect and give really good coverage i actually highly recommend with these paints that you put in agitators um Give me one moment. I purchased these from another company, little glass agitators. They're just little glass beads. Um, pop one of these in there and it just helps out massively when you give them a good shake. Um, that ball will roll around in there and mix up all the paint and get all the sort of paint that's collected at the bottom and mix it all in really well. Um, do not get like stainless steel ones or anything like that as i made a mistake in doing um because they will rust um and they can you know affect your paints and mess them up and you do not want to do that because even at great value as this is that's going to be really annoying so let me just get the camera to focus there we go i like these little trays they come in as well um, I like the way this set's put together. As you can see, I've still got it all in the case. Um, you get all these trays with the paints in, and uh, they're very handy. Um, they've got a little slot in the side for the brush, which sits in there. Um, they're great, and it just keeps it really neat. And I've just uh, kept it in the box because. I sort of sometimes I paint downstairs in the living room, sometimes up in the bedroom, um, and it's handy. Um, when I finish my paint sessions, I can pack them all away and uh, pop the box open and uh, crack back on. Um, I tend to keep a lot of the ones I'm using mostly um, in there near the top. You also get in here um, some inks and uh, what they call their quick shades. Now these are incredible. Um, this is uh, a big thing for the army painter is their quick shading. Um, you've got your dark tone, you've got your, uh, what we got here, flesh wash, and then you've got your strong tone and your soft tone as well. So you get all those in the set as well. And these quick shades are incredible. Um, and incredible for a painter like me. Now, I'm trying to get a huge orc horde done. Um, I've got a lot of painting ahead of me. And um, I can't afford to um, take the time to try and get every model to sort of golden demon standards. That's not going to happen. What I'm trying to achieve is a good tabletop standard. Um, trying to get some detail in there. I'm trying to make them look good. I'm not trying to rush it so they look crap. I'm still trying to give a really good paint job. But what I need is to be able to paint them... Um, effectively and with good techniques where I can sort of cut corners and you know, get them looking as good as possible as quick as possible in the easiest way possible and for me this range and this quick shading technique that they um, promote within this range is the best way to do that because um, Previously, when I used games, which I paint, so I used to sort of, you know, if I was painting green, I would sort of shade it with green ink, and I would, you know, 
use the inks of various colors to go with certain colors with this no um, I paint the model in base coat colors all over and then just give it a wash all over with the quick shade and it just shades everything um, and it saves so much time it's literally liquid talent it is liquid talent in a bottle um, you can base coat a model get it you know very basic flat colors and then you give it a wash of this and my god it just comes to life um, it sinks into all the recesses and gives it depth and texture and then you can go back over it with some highlight and edge highlight and stuff um, just to sort of add in some details and it just really does look great I mean, as you can see from the thing, they really promote this uh, spray, paint your colours, and then give it a wash. Um, and it's just, this guide in here is really fantastic, actually. They've got some great tips on um, how to get a certain effects and how to make things look a certain way and how to get stuff done quickly. And I think if you're someone that is looking to just get stuff done... Um, and get it done to a good standard and you're not going to be sort of elitist about it and sort of say well I don't like dry brushing and don't like doing this yet if you if you're not one of them sort of guys um, and you just want to get a good effective technique done these are your guys um, army painter are your guys they've got you covered um, because I, I I haven't looked back since I've got this set um, the quality of the paints and the ease of use of them um, and everything about them for me is completely on par with Games Workshop. I won't say these are better. I would say they are equally as good um, and for much cheaper. And I just love the simplicity of them. I love the simplicity of everything about this set. Um, it has speeded up my painting no end. Um, and I would never have considered in the past just sort of ink washing like an entire model with one shade i mean i'm currently doing like my um like i say my killer cans um so they've got like yellow they've got metal they've got red on them um and i just give the whole thing a wash of soft tone and it just it works wonders it gives depth to all the sort of metal areas it shades the um yellow areas softly without sort of overpowering it um and i really like it and um these um, tones also work very well for orc skin as well. Um, very well for orc skin. I, I, I love it. Uh, also, ah, yes, also in here. What's the other specials they do in here? There are two other very special paints in here that I want to talk about. Two effects paints. This one, Glistening Blood, is um, brilliant. Um, once you've painted everything up and uh, your last thing you want to do is... You know, put on a bit of gore on your model, maybe some blood drooling from the mouth or on an axe head or something. You paint some of this stuff on and it looks great. It's got a really high gloss look, so it looks like proper wet, fresh blood. A really nice technique. I mean, it looks so much better than just painting on like a standard red, which obviously looks, looks like splodges of paint. This is, again, such an easy way to get a nice effect. Um, where's the other one? There's another effects paint in this set somewhere that I want to show you. Where's it gone? I'm so unprepared. Unprepared and unprofessional. There it is. Dry rust. Now me doing orcs and killer cans at the moment, this has been um, invaluable to me. Um, with this one... Um, once I've painted all the metal areas and stuff, I just, with a sponging technique, this dry rust, um, I just sort of sponge it on in areas and you get a really, really realistic, effective looking sort of a rusty texture and colour. Um, and it's just fantastic. I might have to do some sort of demonstration videos shortly um, about using these. And, and this set in general, actually, um, I might do some sort of, not so much painting tutorial videos necessarily because I don't think I'm that experienced to sort of uh, teach my skills to others but I can certainly show you what I do and how I do it um, and maybe some people can pick up tips but yes guys there you go anyway um, just me talking along a bit and like I say this isn't um, like a product that's been sent to me to review or anything this I've you know bought this with my own money this is a set I use every time I paint um, and it's getting some good use and it will get a lot of good use um, 
and when these you know colors and things do run out i will be replacing them and buying more and sticking with this set and i will never ever i don't think go back to games workshop again um in terms of paints anyway because i'm very happy with this and uh if you're like me and you just want to you know get the stuff done as cheaply as quickly as easily as possible without losing the quality these are your guys um yeah fantastic guys for me this set gets a big big six plus stevo thumbs up um anyway there you go for that um in my next product review um i have to talk to you as well about this stuff army painter anti shine spray um we'll talk about that in my next review video though but anyway guys um thank you so much again for watching i am currently um very close to hitting the 500 subscriber target um as soon as i do um i will be launching the competition for quite an exciting giveaway we got on the channel here um so stay tuned um hit that bell icon and uh, to get notifications of my latest videos and not to miss out on that competition um, and if you haven't already please subscribe I've got loads more videos if you like orcs uh, you like 40k um, this is the place to be anyway I am rambling again I never know how to cut these videos off and uh, finish them so this is six plus stevo signing out <laughs>